Glock perfection. Is that really a thing? One thing that is not Glock perfection, however, when you buy these things, is the stock sights on them. So what is the one modification that I think is an important change or upgrade to a bone stock uh, Glock Model 19 or whichever one you prefer? And I would say upgrading to some better sights is uh, a must do. Another realm of opinion is going to be which sights are best to upgrade to. And once again, I prefer the factory Glock uh, tritium type night sight. It's not a problem with the sights as far as sight picture goes or effectiveness in shooting. Uh, the two things I don't like about them is typically the front sight is going to be a polymer type uh, material. You know the front sight when drawing from a holster and shooting a lot will actually grind down that front sight in a very short time. Secondly, I like a night sight, a Trijicon or some type of illuminated uh, night glow sight, if you will, and the factory sights are not that. So this is a fairly easy situation to remedy. There are all kinds of aftermarket sights available for Glock, Trijicon, True Glow, the list goes on and on. But again, for my money, uh, I'm sticking with a Glock factory sight that is a night glow uh, Trijicon type uh, illuminated sight for night use. Uh, these things are very affordable and I like the way that they fit on the gun. I've shot many, many, many rounds using these sights over the years. It's what we used and carried uh, as a duty assigned weapon. And to me, it just works. And I like to stick with what works. Your mileage may vary on which part you think is the best one. That's the one that we're installing today. The rear sight on the Glock is a press fit into a dovetail machine groove. So we're going to simply push out the factory sight and we're going to push back in our aftermarket sight that we're using. I've seen people make videos, you know, hitting these things with drifts and, you know, plier handles and everything else. You know, again, to each his own. It's just not how I, I'm going to work on my uh, equipment. We're going to use this wire gear uh, sight installation tool. It's a universal tool. They're about 45 bucks or something like that online. I just, to me, it's well worth spending the money on tools like this. If you're going to work on guns and, and modify them and do maintenance on your own equipment and so forth, an issue that we need to address when installing a new sight on this slide is there's nothing that gives you a depth stop to let you know when the side is centered on the slide where it needs to be. There are several schools of thought on this. Some guys will put a piece of tape here, mark a center line on the, on the old side, mark the tape, and then just push the new one into that center line. You could do that. Uh, the slide on the Glock measures with a micrometer just a little over an inch. I'm getting about an inch three thousandths, and that could just be because of the coating uh, that they apply on there. So we could use different measuring tools, but I did notice when I looked at my stock one here, I can tell this rear sight is not pushed into the slide dead center. I can see a little bit more of a gap on one side than the other, which tells me that it was either installed uh, you know, a little bit off, or maybe that's where it needs to be adjusted to for the right sight picture. So I believe what I'm going to do is put the new sight in there as centered up as I can using measuring tools, and then we'll shoot this thing and we'll compare uh, our, our sight picture and where we're hitting on the target and determine if we need to do any adjustment on it from there. Okay, this universal tool is pretty simple to use. You've got a height adjustment here. You've got your pressure block over here and the actual part that will push out the slide. So what we're going to do here, I'm going to adjust this height wise to I'm about right where I want it now. We'll give it a little snug there. What we don't want to do is have this up so high that as this tool starts moving across, pushing the old side out, that we mar the top of our slide. So you're going to want to make sure that you see clearance down through there. And that's easily, you can look down and see light through there and, and you know that you're good. So we'll give that a little snug, make sure everything is where we want it to be. Okay, now we're simply going to use the tool to push out the old sight.
Okay, you can see the difference here between the factory site that we took out and the night sites that we're putting in. They're a little bit thicker, but overall they're very close uh, in dimension. And that's one of the reasons that I like using uh, factory Glock parts when I'm doing upgrades to my personal weapons. Furthermore, because that is a press fit here in the dovetail on the slide, I'm just going to add a very light application of oil uh, in the slide, put a little bit uh, on the, the waves themselves on the new sites, and we should be good to go. Now we're going to use the tool to push the new sites back in. And again, I like to just double check as I'm working to make sure that there's uh, nothing is marring or hitting where it shouldn't along the way. Now I mentioned before that we're going to have to do a little bit of checking uh, and I'm just going to do some visual right now on where this site is. And I'll do a little bit of measuring from here. And we'll be able to determine what adjustments we might need to make. Okay, if you notice right here on the end, there's a little bit of a flat machine surface sticking out past the end of the site. And you see it on both sides. So I'm going to use that as a reference point to do some, some rough measuring. We're using a set of dowel calipers that measure within a thousandth of an inch. So when I say rough measuring, these will certainly be uh, discriminative enough as far as our measuring from side to side goes. It's very difficult because of this radius on the slide uh, to do certain measuring that you would like to do. So what I've decided to do is use this as a depth gauge, hitting that flat surface on the new site and going down to the edge of the slide. And we're right at about 60 thousandths on that side. You have to get a little wonky here to get it over to the a flat surface where the serrations are machined in there. And we've got about 60 thousandths on that side. So using that method, I know that my site is pushed into the slide and is centered up very well. Any adjustments that we may need to make at the range later on will be easily done with the tool if it's necessary. But I believe the accuracy of using this method here has got us right where we want to be. Simply going to unscrew that. Take out the old bolt and the stock sight will lift off just like that. Our front sight, if you look at the hole where it goes, it's more of an oval shape than a round shape. And we have a similar uh, shape on the bottom of the new front sight also. The problem being that when you put that in there, it's not a real close machine tolerance that indexes that front sight. You can see how much slop that you have with it moving around there. And what I've done is measured from the side of the slide to the front of the site this way. And I'll use that as a depth gauge to make sure that this thing has stayed parallel as we tighten it up. Before we do that, I'm going to make sure that there's no oil or machining debris in our threads in that new front site. You could use a little chem tool or acetone, something like that. This is a metal site, not a plastic site. Additionally, I just checked the new bolt against the factory one, and it's exactly the same part there. So I'm just going to take a paper towel, and I'm just going to make sure that the threads are clean on this new bolt, that there's no grease or debris in that. I'm going to use Loctite Blue Thread Locker on my bolt. Uh, I noticed when I took out the factory one, I don't see anything on the threads on that. doesn't appear that Glock uses that from the factory, at least that I can see. Some people uh, tout using red Loctite on there, but the problem with that is red Loctite is more of a permanent uh, setup. When you, when you put in a bolt into some threads in an anaerobic environment, that'll, that'll harden up to the point where you'll have a very hard time getting it loose. 
The proper way to deal with red Loctite when you're disassembling something is through heat, which you could do on this uh, arrangement here. But that tiny little bolt with a very thin head on it like that, I just feel comfortable using the blue. The blue is removable without using heat, and you don't have the problem of uh, busting that off or rounding that little uh, thin head off of that bolt trying to remove it. that simple we've got our new sights mounted on our slide we now have a steel or metal uh, front sight that's not just going to grind off from holster draws we've got night uh, glow or night illumination uh, sight picture now all of that done within just a few minutes of work and a couple of tools and we've improved the standard Glock There's two steps on the barrel uh, here on the slide. One of them is machined with a radius that matches the diameter on our, our spring and rod guide here. So it's easy to just put that in, seat it down into that groove, and if I push back and forth, it doesn't rock anymore, and I know that I'm located in the right spot. Now we'll simply put our slide over the frame. There's a couple of racks and we know that uh, the gun is unloaded and it's safe to handle and just that simple we've got improved sights on our Glock that will allow tactical shooting in low light situations and will hold up to the wear and tear of repeated use and holster draw at the range. Hey thanks for watching today's video. You know I think it's more important when we're modifying and building guns and things like that that we're building equipment that's reliable and it's going to go bang when we need it to go bang. Uh, today's video was about a simple modification that I think greatly improves the usability of the standard Glock platform. And as always, remember, get ready so that you and your family can succeed and thrive.